Hey everybody, it's Steve with Problem Wargaming. Um, let's talk about fixed and tactical. People were wondering which should they take and why, what are the pros and cons. I've got this one from uh, one of our patrons, Lobster, uh, otherwise known as Colin. He's a Des Moines local. Uh, not a bad guy, pretty good player. So let's see, what are we going to talk about first? Let's go with, honestly, this all revolves around fixed. So let's just dive into fixed. Because tactical, we generally know the the goods and bads of it, right? I mean, the reality is with fixed, the the negative side of it is your opponent knows what you need and want to achieve. And knowing what your basic game plan is, they can interfere with it and deny you points. So taking fixed is great for many reasons, right? So first one is one I've mentioned many times. Fix allows you to learn your army. You're not trying to accomplish goals and you know deal with uh, your opponent. So fix is very good for that because then you're like, I know what I need to do on my game plan and now I can focus on my quality army. And who doesn't like a quality army? Now, from that, we want to look at it a little deeper. For me, I will do tactical most of the time. And why is this? Because my armies, right, all the elves, they play secondaries very well because they're so fast. But we are, you know, a glass hammer and we will get punished if we make mistakes. So for me, high skill ceiling armies are the best because I like the challenge. Now to move on from that. <sighs> so when I draw certain opponents, then I will do fix, right? So if I'm playing knights, chaos knights, whatever, and it's a vehicle heavy list, I'm taking bring it down. Because either my opponent's going to try to hide those things, right, which stinks, but that means they're also not getting around the board like they want, and that helps me win as well. So um, if I'm going to the Knights, they've got to get out. They want to kill me, so that allows me to use Bring It Down very effectively. Now, what would I take as a, my other fixed, right? I would take Teleport Homers because it's non-interactive. My opponent is going to be very... It's going to be very difficult for my opponent to deny it without exposing themselves too much. And then, of course, the points can go up higher if their backfield opens up, right? So keep those things in mind. Fixed are great into certain opponents. And let me give you a good example of one I chose incorrectly on, but still won the game. I was going into orcs, tons of vehicles, tons of troops, and large amount of characters. What I should have done is I should have took assassinate because the orc characters really uh how do i want to put it fuel the army right they buff the, their troops and they are essential for the lists so i should have taken assassinate and then seeing so many vehicles and orc vehicles are usually very easy to kill because their saves aren't the best so then we're looking at an easy bring it down so i doing that would have put, uh, most likely scored 100 right i went first i controlled the pace of that game and in general, he never denied me primary. So I could have got 100 in that game. And that was a mistake for me not to take fixed. I took tactical. I scored 87 points, right? And I kept him to uh, like 70-something. So it was a good game, but I could have done better, right? So keep those things in mind. And to answer your questions easier, and I'm going to say the one thing that nobody ever wants to hear, right? How do I get better? Play lots of games, okay? And that's not a criticism because I know not everyone has the time I have and, and the, and the willing willingness to find games. I will play anybody to get practice in. Uh, I may get stomped, but that's okay. Or I may stomp you, you know, you learn something and I, you know, honed my skills a bit more there winning and losing will teach you in both ways. One winning will teach you that your list is correct and your tactics are good. Losing will teach you, Oh, I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done that. Here's where my weaknesses are. I need to prove. Okay. So this is Steve from Problem Wargaming. And I'll see you next time. Bye.